Hi, and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to search through an array by using linear search. So what is linear search? Let's quickly have a look on the next slide. So let's say, for instance, we have an array of size 6. That means that we have six elements in this array. Now the elements is 10, 4, 12, 7, 9, and 2. And we are searching for a value of 9. Now how does the linear search algorithm work? So it's linear in its method. That means that it starts from 0 and it works its way up to the last element. So first of all, we look at the first element and we ask ourselves, is 9 equal to 10? So the value that we are actually searching for, is it equal to this current element's value? Is 9 equal to 10? False. Okay, now if it's false, we continue to the next element. So we ask ourselves, is 9 equal to 4? That's also false. We continue, is 9 equal to 12? False. Is 9 equal to 7? Still false. And then is 9 equal to 9? Yes, that is true. And then if we encounter a true, we stop and print out the index of that given element. So how would we do this in practical C programming in the code blocks IDE? So let's have a look. So let's assume we have got an array of size 4 with values 2, 4, 6, and 8. And we want to implement linear search. So I'm going to do this straight off the bat by using a function. Because we, in the previous lecture, we already learned how to implement functions. So this function will return the index of the element that was found in the array. Okay, so we say linear search. What will be passed to this function? We will pass an array and we will have a size. Okay, so that's our function prototype. And then our actual function. So our actual function will look like the following. So we first need to understand that. If we find the element that we are searching for, we will return this index. But if we don't find the element that we are searching for, we need to return something else. So 0 to size minus 1 will be our indexes. Now what's the value that will not be in the index? Minus 1, for instance. Minus 1 will not be in the index of the array. Okay, because the array indexes starts at 0 to the size minus 1. Okay, so let's continue. We will use a for loop and a counter variable first. A for loop, we will initialize this counter variable to 0. I will be smaller than size i plus plus. Okay, so that is our for loop to traverse through each element in this array. So we're going to linearly traverse through each element. And then we need to decide with the if structure. If the value at this current moment is equal to the value we are searching for. So yes, you're right. We are missing a parameter in this function. So I'm going to add an extra one calling it value. That's going to be our search value. And I need to change this at the function prototype as well. Okay, so value. We will be searching for this value. So is this current index value equal to the value that we are searching for? And if it is, we can actually stop the for loop straight in its tracks then and there. And how do we do this? So a function will stop whenever a return function is called. 
in the same manner when a break statement stops a for loop, a return statement stops a function, no matter where in this function code it is. So we can just say return the index. Now the index will be then the counter variable. Okay, so when this value is found, we will return and it will stop the function completely. And if it's not found, after this for loop, it went through each element and did not find this value, we can safely assume that we can return minus 1 and it will have not found the value we are searching for. Okay, so we've got our function prototype, we've got the actual function here, and now we can actually implement the linear search function. So we're going to say int index for the index we are searching for we're going to say linear search we're going to pass arr1 the function address oh not the function address the array address of the first element to the function linear search and we will also send the size the size is four and the value that we are searching for let's say for instance we are searching for the value of six so the value of 6 will be at index 0, 1, 2. So index must be equal to 6. And let's print if the index to confirm that we have found the correct index for the value 6. And we will print out index. So you can say the index is equal to the index okay so now we have got the function call we've got our function prototype and the function itself the linear search function so let's see we build and run and we see what happens okay so the index is equal to 2 that means we are searching for this value of 6 and it's found it at index 2, so 0, 1, 2, and that is correct. Let's quickly do it for value 8, and we search for value 8. And value 8 is at index 3. Okay, let's search for the value of 9. Now, the value of 9 is not inside this array, so what will be returned? Minus 1. And let's see if we can get minus 1. Yes, minus 1. So the index is equal to minus 1. And minus 1 then actually tells the user that the value was not found. Okay, so that's the linear search algorithm. That's all from me. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.